All right, everyone, we are here with today's break, which is the second half of the 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 1 and Series 2 cases. Uh, first half, we saw a lot of the good name young guns here. And then uh, this half, I think we're going to see some nice parallels and, you know, maybe some more good name young guns. Maybe we'll see a couple of Capo Cacos. But nonetheless, let's get into the randoms here. So thank you, everyone, for purchasing the spot today. Uh, very much appreciated. And again, we have... Two breaks coming up next week as well. We have the mixer on April 16th, which is similar to the one that's happening on Saturday that's already sold out, but that one's gonna be a mix of 2019 Series 1 and Series 2 with Allure and Trilogy boxes added in. And on April 18th, it's a full case of the brand new OPG Platinum, and that product looks really, really solid. So uh, looking forward to that. And yeah, so let's get started with today's breaks here. And let's get the randoms going. So again, thank you to everyone who purchased spots. Um, I am very much appreciated. And let's go ahead and get them into random.org here and do three times on the teams. One, two, three. There we go. Three times on the teams, or three times on the names. Uh, teams next. Uh, three times on the teams here. I uh, will sort these alphabetically again. Uh, it's, Random. <laughs> uh, three times on the names here. One, two, and three. There we go. And hop back into Excel here. And here is everyone's team. So we got Sheldon with the Columbus Blue Jackets, Alex Song with the Chicago Blackhawks and Dallas Stars, Mark with the Nashville Predators, Alex with the Vancouver Canucks, Sylvain, or Sylvain with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Bill with the Carolina Hurricanes, Kevin with the Minnesota Wild, Richard with the New York Islanders, Sylvain, or Sylvain, again, let me know how your name's pronounced, <laughs> with the New Jersey Devils, Alex Villoria with the Winnipeg Jets and Arizona Coyotes, Kevin Doris with the Montreal Canadiens, Vartan with the Calgary Flames, Jason South with the Ottawa Senators, uh, Cody Hegley with the Washington Capitals, uh, Liam Meliao uh, with the Boston Bruins, Ralph with the Pittsburgh Penguins, Mark with the Vegas Golden Knights and Edmonton Oilers, Jason South with the LA Kings, Brian with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Gerald with the Florida Panthers, Jesse with the Anaheim Ducks, Kevin with the Philadelphia Flyers, Jordan Norris with the Detroit Red Wings, Kerry Rhodes with the San Jose Sharks, Francis with the Buffalo Sabres, Ron Scott with the Colorado Avalanche, Edward Dyson gets the New York Rangers, and Danny gets the St. Louis Blues. So there's the teams here. Uh, let's switch over to here and shuffle some stuff up on my end. There we go. Turn this on. There we go. All right. Slide the keyboards away because we don't need that anymore. And top loaders in here. Hopefully we'll need these shortly. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So again, same thing as last week. We're going to start off with... Series one, and then alternate to a box of series two, see which kind of one uh, is doing better between the two. And yeah, so let's start with series one. I think I think last week is pretty even. It's probably, the last two boxes were kind of uh, pretty even here uh, between series one and series two. So, uh, I mean, it was, it was close, but I think the Quinn Hughes Young Gun Canvas probably put series two over the top. So we'll see if series one can claw back uh this week but yeah let's go ahead and that out of the way and here we go with the first box all right also got some time to do some organize and we did hit a base uh a base short print by the way in the um in the series two case we hit an anti-math uh, uh, base short print so uh, very cool to see the base variations. Those are super hard to pull. I think they're one in about a thousand. So let's see if we can get one in a series one or even series two. But let's start today and let's see what we got. We are starting off right off the top. We got a Young Guns clear cut of Ilya Mikheya for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Brian, that is yours. Good soup Young Gun clear cut right there. First pack starting off super strong there. That's a wicked start. And you couldn't really ask for better uh, a better start. <laughs> Maybe a Hughes, but I mean, just 
great start there. I love the, these are just so clean too. Alrighty, one card up front. And I mean, you really can't complain about that one. Nice start there. Nice hit for you there, for you, Brian. All right, pack two. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty hard to follow that up. Right off the top, we get the clear cut young gun. Uh, that's, I mean, that's just a great, great start. Uh, we have a shooting star center of Jonathan Tays for the Chicago Blackhawks. And then base on the rest. But yeah, OPG Platinum, it, it looks really just really good parallel wise this year. I mean, again, the sunset one is super nice. We got a UD30 of Connor McDavid for the Edmonton Oilers. Um, the, the sunset parallels look nice. I mean, they've got, I think matte pinks are new this year. And just all the different like foiling and stuff. It's really, really nice. I like that there's a hockey product with it this time. Or like this year and every year kind of. And it's becoming bigger and bigger. We got a Ben Bishop UD Canvas for the Dallas Stars. Bishop UD Canvas for the Dallas Stars. Um, and just the on-card rookie autographs. I mean, you can't go wrong with it at all. Next up, we got a Ryan Paling Young Gun for the Montreal Canadiens. I mean, that's a, that's a decent one to get. So definitely, he started off really strong in his first game and kind of spent some time developing this year. But hopefully he'll come back strong and... Um, you know, he does look like a pretty solid prospect there. Uh, we got a portraits of John Tavares for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Tavares portraits for the Maple Leafs. And again, after the break, we'll go through all the base. Um, make sure there's no variations sneaking anywhere. So they're super hard to, they're super hard to pull, but even harder to find sometimes. So, uh, next up, we got a Jamie Ben Pure Energy for the Dallas Stars. Jamie Ben Pure Energy for the Dallas Stars. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, two really good start. Good young gun and, I mean, a good good name on the clear cut. So, I mean, very, very strong first box here. We have uh, UD30 of Wayne Gretzky for the Edmonton Oilers. I actually haven't seen that one before. Um, I just, I like it because, again, they have it kind of on, those ones are on, like, the modern stock, but the buybacks are on the like their actual buybacks so they're on like the original kind of paper stock from that era and it's just pretty cool uh next up we have a young gun of nathan bastion for the new jersey devils bastion young gun for the new jersey devils and i mean like sorting last week you could tell what teams have uh the ud 30s because colorado edmonton and montreal have just the little extra stacks there <laughs> it's kind of funny to see but Thomas Hurdle UD Canvas for the San Jose Sharks. It's just, I mean, Series 1 this year is just, it's a cool, they've got a lot of cool little inserts and new stuff. I like that they tried some new stuff out, like the Pure Energies. Uh, this is a Tivu Teravinium for the uh, Carolina Hurricanes, so definitely cool to see them trying some new stuff out. But yeah, good start so far. Uh, two good young guns, one being the clear cut, so again, really can't complain here. Next up. UD Portraits of Matt Barzell for the New York Islanders. Barzell Portraits for the New York Islanders. And I think we're just over halfway here through box one. So far, so good. Again, can't complain. And a Gaten Haas Young Gun for the Edmonton Oilers. Gaten Haas Young Gun for the Edmonton Oilers and base on the rest. All right. But I've, I'm interested to see what we'll get out of Series 2 as well. We should get a, we should see a Kako at least, hopefully. Um, next up, Patrick Waugh, UD30 for the Montreal Canadiens. Patrick Waugh for the Canadiens. And we should see a, we should see a clear cutout of UD Series 2 as well. Uh, probably see a buyback one of one, so maybe we'll see another Easter egg pull. Oh, speaking of Kako, what a box. Capo Kako, Young Gun Canvas for the New York Rangers, Edward. Who needs a regular one when you can just get the canvas right away? What a box to start us off here. Holy cow. I mean, you got a really good clear cut and you got a really good canvas. This might be a eight young gun box by the time you include all the parallels. Wicked start right there. Two cards up front. Series one bringing it early on here. All right. I mean, again, you really can't complain about this. Uh, Texier Young Gun for the Columbus Blue Jackets. 
I really like Texier as a player. He's quite a... He's very skilled, and I mean, he's just a good player. Columbus got a lot of good, uh... Yeah, yeah, considering last week, this Series 1 case has been incredible. Um, you know, you got the Hughes and, like, the three Hughes young guns, um, Huberto portraits for the Panthers there. You've got the Kako canvas. Uh, you've got the Micaiah clear cut. I mean, you really can't ask for much more out of Series 1. Uh, maybe a good exclusives young gun, but I mean, that's asking a lot. So, uh, Washington Capital, or Evgeny Kuznetsov, pure energy for the Washington Capitals there. Yeah, this has been a really strong case of Series 1. And I mean, there's still five boxes to go. So, next up, next generation of Patrick Line for the Winnipeg Jets. Got the jersey variation of that last week. Those are those are about the jersey variations for uh, one in every about two cases or so. So tough to hit there. Uh, next up, Daniel, you're taking or you're tacking young gun for the San Jose Sharks. You're tacking for the Sharks. Let's see what else we got. Finishing up this box here towards the end. Vincent Trocheck canvas for the Florida Panthers. Trocheck canvas for the Florida Panthers. And three packs remaining here. Let's see what we got. We have a Patrick Kane Pure Energy for the Chicago Blackhawks. Patrick Kane Pure Energy for the Chicago Blackhawks. And two packs left here. I mean, pretty much I think we might have one young gun left maybe. Uh, Vitaly Abramov for the Ottawa Senators. Rookie portraits there. So yeah, because we've hit five. So this could be a young gun. The canvas might count as one combined with the clear cut, but uh, let's see what's waiting in here. Yeah, Lean Bregman or Lean Bergman young guns for the San Jose Sharks. Really strong box one there. I mean, series two is gonna have to get a heck of a pull here to uh to tie things up because that's I mean you've got the Mikhaev clear cut, the Kako young gun canvas i mean those two cards on their own are just hits of a box never mind together so really strong start there let's see what ud series 2 can bring today let's see if they can answer the bell right out of the gate here all right there we go so, I mean, it's definitely going to be harder for uh, for Series 2 to catch up because, I mean, one of the main young guns we, you hope to get is Kako, and he already got his canvas in Series 1. So, let's see. Let's see a Kako regular in here. Might as well, right? Uh, Semyon Varlamov, update OPG Retro for the Islanders. Next pack. Uh, what else did we get last week? We got the dual rookie materials, so... Um, Kirby Deck, Marquee Rookie Retro for the Chicago Blackhawks. Nice one there. Nice doc. Next up. Yeah, there's definitely there's just an overall good mix of stuff coming out right now. I mean, I like... Oh, and speaking of Kako, there you go. Young Guns for the New York Rangers of Capo Kako. There you go. You don't have to even worry about completing your uh, parallel there, your rainbow, your little rainbow. You already got the base and you already got the uh, the canvas. What's next, an exclusives? I mean, if the exclusives came out, that'd be insane as well. Here, we'll put them, put them side by side for right now. All right, I mean, <laughs> wicked start. I, like absolutely ridiculous start. Next up, we got a canvas of John Carlson for the Washington Capitals. <laughs> That is, that's ridiculous. The first two boxes, and I mean, Kako was the player that we were looking for. And he, uh, he's showed up already. He's taking over Morgan Frost role right now. Uh, we got an Artemi Panarin update for the Rangers. The Breadman. Next up, we have, let's see here, we have, a Joel Farabee, uh, Rookie Portraits for the Philadelphia Flyers. Farabee Portraits for the Flyers. I think we hit his canvas last time, actually, his Young Gun canvas. 
if I'm not mistaken. What's up next here? We have uh, Max Veranu, Young Gun for the Ottawa Senators. Veranu for the Senators. That's a crazy start though. Both Kakos already. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, next up, Marky Rookie Blue of Connor Timmons for the Colorado Avalanche. I mean, you really can't, like, that's just incredible. <laughs> the first two boxes, oh. Carter Verhage, Marky Rookie for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Next up, we have uh, Mark Giordano. I love this picture. The Mark Giordano canvas for the Calgary Flames. I just That's such a cool lighting on that picture. It just looks really nice in the canvas card. That's honestly one that I wish you could get like a, just like a larger size of it. Just be such a cool card. Next up, we have a Young Guns checklist of Kirby Dak, and you guessed it, Capo Caco. Well, that's if we get a second one in this half, both uh, the Rangers and Blackhawks will get one. If not, we will uh, random it off at the end of the break here. So, but I mean, you've already got three Caco Young Guns technically, so <laughs> that's kind of funny, just all at once. And we have a. E2 Lustorainen, UD Rookie Portraits for the Carolina Hurricanes. Just all at once, right at the start, getting all the cacos out of the way. What more could you really ask for here? Oh, and we have our Young Guns exclusives here uh, for the Winnipeg Jets of Yuno Luoto. Yuno Luoto, Luoto Young Gun exclusives number to 100. Who had the Winnipeg Jets? Uh, Alex Villoria. Nice hit there, Alex. Yeah, and we didn't see one in either in either product, so maybe we'll get one out of Series 1 as well. Who knows? If that would have been Kako, that would have been hilarious. So much Kako in a single box. But yeah, the portraits, the portraits would be pretty funny here. And just based on the rest. A really strong start. I mean, I still think I give the edge to... Series 1 right now, but there's still some chance for uh, Series 2 to pull this around and uh, make things interesting. Noah Dobson, Young Guns for the New York Islanders. Nice Dobson for the Islanders there. Next up. Let's see what we got here. We have a Young Guns canvas of Dante Fabro for the Nashville Predators. That's a good one as well. <laughs> Man, if you if you got the if you got all three of the cat or I guess that'd be the fourth Kako Young Gun of two boxes, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Martin Fay Harvey, uh, OPG rookie for the Washington Capitals. But yeah, really strong box again. Um, I mean, yeah, no complaints here. I still think the edge kind of right now still goes to. No Dobson rookie portraits for the New York Islanders. Still goes to Series 1 because you got the canvas and the acetate as well. But the exclusives and the regular and a good Young Gun canvas too. I mean, can't complain. Next up, we have uh, Giovanni Smith Young Guns for the Detroit Red Wings. Smith Young Gun for the Red Wings. And we got about six packs left or so. I mean, it's really strong box here of uh, Series 2 as well. And can't complain about an exclusives and a Young Gun canvas in the same box. Uh, Merz Lickens, marquee rookie for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Nice Elvis there. And I think we still have, it's either, is it the gold or the red that's a case hit for Series 2, the OPG one. Uh, we got a Petey, Elias Pedersen canvas for the Vancouver Canucks. But one of the parallels is, is the case hit, and I think we're still waiting on that too, so. Although no complaints if it's like an exclusives that takes its spot. Uh, next up, Trent Frederick, UD Portraits for the Boston Bruins. Frederick Portraits for the Boston Bruins there. How is Liam with the Bruins? Next up, we have uh, Alexis Sorelia, uh, Young Guns for the Florida Panthers. Lots of teams, lots of different teams hitting right now on top of the Rangers. 
but lots of uh, definitely seen lots of different teams, which is good to see. Um, let's see what else we got in this box. So we have oh, we have a clear cut here of Jonas Donskoy for the Colorado Avalanche. Donskoy clear cut for the Colorado Avalanche. Who had the Avalanche? Ron with the Avalanche. And last pack of the box here. I mean, I think the edge is going to go to Series 1 to start off, but that was a heck of a battle. Uh, Nick Suzuki, OPG rookie for the Montreal Canadiens to finish off the box Series 2. Both those boxes were very good, but I think just because the canvas and the clear cut probably puts it a little bit above the exclusives and the uh, base cam or base young gun there. So, um, one nothing to Series 1 this week. Series 1, I think they got off to a one nothing lead last week as well. All right, let's get into box of series two or series one. Box number two of series one here. And let's see what'll happen. Let's see if they can keep up the pressure here. I like to see a good, a good exclusives out of series one would be, uh, would be nice. Can't complain about a good exclusives here, but uh, that or another Quinn Hughes, Rasmus Sandin, those types of guys. All right. And here we go. But what a strong first couple of boxes here. I mean, no complaints at all. You got a clear cut, a canvas, or a good canvas. Uh, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, defenseman shooting stars, a Chris Letang. Then don't think we hit a defenseman in the first half of the break, so we hit a couple right wings, but, but yeah, can't complain about either one of those boxes. Both were super good, so. Uh, lots of young guns already, which is always good. I mean, that's why you break this open, right? Uh, generation next for the Boston Bruins. That's Liam with the Charlie McAvoy generation next there. And I, I like that they're highlighting like future stars a little bit more too. Uh, just because, I mean, hockey's rookies are always like just a spotlight on them and has been not quite as great in sports cards, but recently Upper Deck's really upped it and Patrick Kane, uh, canvas there for the Chicago Blackhawks. So it's always cool to, uh, it's always cool to see all the rookie content, like young stars, young talent, because there's going to be a huge influx over the next few years. And I mean, it's just, it's just cool to see it all. Next up, Vladislav Gavrikov, young guns for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Gavrikov for the Blue Jackets. And then next pack, let's see what we got here. All right, we have our rookie portraits of Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Canucks. There we go, first Quinn Hughes on the board there. Who had the Canucks? Uh, that was Alex Song with the Canucks there. Again, your first Quinn Hughes, not quite the young guns, but I mean, you'll take it. Any Quinn Hughes is a good Quinn Hughes. Next up, Sebastian Ajo, Pure Energy for the Carolina Hurricanes. Ajo, Pure Energy for the Hurricanes. Next pack. I'd like to see a Fanimation too. Uh, they just look so cool overall. But let's see what we got here. We have, ooh, a UD. I haven't seen one of these before. This is actually a pretty good hit here for the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, clear cut base UD exclusives of Jakob Chikrin. Nice hit there for the Arizona Coyotes. Who had the Coyotes? Uh, that was Alex with the Coyotes. Nice hit there. I think cool. Those are pretty tough to get. So super cool hit. I like that they did the exclusives with the uh, clear cuts because you get the gold foiling on it, and it's just it's just cool. Cool little Easter egg stuff. I mean, the, I wonder what the print run on them is too. Cause I mean, they're not numbered, but you know, they're going to be fairly short print cause they're super hard to get. So, uh, already a pretty good box. I mean, you got a really cool card there. So next up Vinny Hinola for the Winnipeg Jets, young guns, good defenseman there. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> series one just keeps on bringing it. You know, it's uh very impressed with it been a really really strong case it just doesn't stop next up Jakob Slavin canvas for the Carolina Hurricanes Jacob Slavin I always mess up his name <laughs> next up we have 
Uh, Evgeny Malkin, pure energy for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Malkin, pure energy for the Penguins. Yeah, already lots of cool cards up front. So it's always cool to see. I mean, we got the Young Guns clear cut. We got an exclusives. We got an exclusives clear cut. Got a good just base Young Gun. Got a good Young Gun canvas. Really no complaints here. Uh, UD portraits of Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. All right, let's see. Let's see a Quinn Hughes Young Gun in this box. I don't think we'll see it, but who knows? Uh, Brady Keeper Young Gun for the Florida Panthers. I mean, it'd be cool to see one. We hit, I think we hit one in the first half, so definitely potential to get a second. I mean, he his brother got two, so. Next up, Patrice Bergeron UD Game Jersey for the Boston Bruins. That's a nice one there. That is, uh, that is Liam's. Nice, nice hit Liam. Nice Bergeron jersey there. I'll we'll put him up, up front there. Keep all the jersey cards separate. I think Bergeron's actually probably going to be a little bit tougher of a one to hit. So, probably a bit of a tougher one to hit there on the checklist. Uh, generation next of Kyle Connor for the Winnipeg Jets. But yeah, I mean, good good game jersey there. Good star player. It's always good when you... I mean, their checklist for game jerseys has been really strong lately as well, too. Which is always good to see. Next up... Young Guns Canvas for the New Jersey Devils of Nikita Gusev. Nice Gusev, Young Guns Canvas for the New Jersey Devils. I know he had a lot of hype coming over and he's kind of lived up to it, kind of fell a little bit short. I don't know. It was one of those weird, like he did really well still uh, and it takes a little bit of time to adjust, but still did pretty well. Uh, Teddy Bluger Young Gun for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice Bluger Young Gun there. Super skilled player though. He's always, he's fun to watch. I mean, a 27 year old rookie is pretty rare, but he's a super fun player to watch. So next up, Thomas Hurdle portrait for the San Jose Sharks. Hurdle for the Sharks on the portraits. Next up, we have uh, Matthew Kachuk, pure energy for the Calgary Flames. Kachuk for the Flames. Next pack, we got about six packs left after this one, I think, five or six, something like that. We have a UD30 of Patrick Waugh for the Montreal Canadiens. That was one of like my favorite base card designs growing up. I don't know why, I just like the player's name with the like portrait in the background at the bottom. It's always kind of cool to me. Oh, hey, Quinn Hughes Young Gun for the Vancouver Canucks. Just calling shots left and right right now. <laughs> Who had the Canucks again? That was Alex Villor, or was it Alex? No, Alex Song with the Vancouver Canucks. Nice one there. Second Quinn Hughes of the case, actually. So him and his brother both showed up twice in the same case. Wow. Very strong start there. All right, get this one in a sleeve as well. Top load it. All right, I mean, again, Series one brought it pretty good, this box. Good Young Guns, rare insert there. It, literally no complaints. Good Young Gun canvas too. Uh, Darnell Nurse canvas for the Edmonton Oilers. Nice Nurse canvas for the Edmonton Oilers. Three packs left here. I mean, Series two's gotta bring it. Definitely uh, already a tough, uh, tough battle here for Series two. Let's see what we got. Uh, Thomas Shabbat, Pure Energy for the Ottawa Senators. And two packs left here. I mean, again, zero complaints out of this box. You got a really good jersey card of, of Bergeron. Um, you've got, you know, a good young gun with Quinn Hughes. Uh, Lundqvist Portraits for the Rangers. Uh, good young gun canvas. Just overall pretty solid. Uh, the UD Clear Cut exclusives of Chikorin. So got a little bit of an Easter egg hit there. It's always cool to see. And Joel Esperance, Young Guns for the Dallas Stars to finish it off. So again, really strong box here, getting lots of lots of good cards here. I mean, Quinn Hughes showing up already. What a good start there. Series two's got an answer here. I mean, we're already starting to run out of room on the, uh, the hit parade there. Right in front. All right. 
Uh, let's see. What are we going to get out of this box? I think... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll see a Barrett Hayden Young Guns in a Rookie Materials? Maybe? Thinking something along those lines? I don't think we saw Barrett Hayden in the first half, so... Maybe that's what we'll see. Something along those lines. Here we go. Starting things off with the Joel Faraby uh, marquee rookie for the Philadelphia Flyers. Joel Faraby marquee rookie for the Philadelphia Flyers. Next up, we have Dylan Larkin Canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. Larkin Canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. Next up, we have a Connor Butterman. Uh, rookie portraits for the Philadelphia Flyers. Bunneman portrait for the Flyers. And here we go. Uh, this pack want to open on the bottom side here. Some of these packs just don't like to open for whatever reason. Cards inside them are just too good, I guess. Let's see what's here. And hey, that's actually a good young gun right there. Caden Primu for the Montreal Canadiens. Who had the Habs? Uh, Kevin with the Habs. Nice primu there. Next pack. We have... Oh, we got a backwards base on top. Uh, Nicholas Backstrom. I'll put that one to the side just in case it's a short print. Uh, and looks like a base pack. There might be a short print in here. I'm not quite sure. We'll put this... Put that one to the side, but there might be a base short print in that pack as well. We'll see. I'll check after the break as well. Next up, it's kind of weird that the one base was upside down. Uh, Adam Fox, marquee rookie for the New York Rangers. Fox, marquee rookie for the New York Rangers. Next up, we have Erasmus Sandin, rookie retro for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Just the regular back on that one. There are blank backs of them. They're just super tough to hit. Um, so let's see what we got here, though. We have Dimitro Timoshov, Young Gun, for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Timoshov, Young Gun, for the Maple Leafs. Next up. Let's see what we're going to end up with here. We have a Young Gun's canvas for the Winnipeg Jets of David Gustafson. Nice young gun canvas for the Winnipeg Jets there. If we hit a young gun canvas in every single box so far, I think we have. Yeah, I think so actually. Because last box we had, first box we had the Kako. Second box we had Fabro. Third box we had Gusev, and then we have Gustafson. So Dominic Kubalik, uh, marquee rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. That's, I mean, that's really good. Getting bonus young guns is always a good thing, so. Next up, uh, Victor Olofsson, rookie portraits for the Buffalo Sabres. Next pack here. Let's see what we're going to get. We have Philip Zadina. That's a good one. Young gun for the Detroit Red Wings. Who at the Red Wings here? Uh, Jordan with the Red Wings. Nice hit there with the Zadina. Next pack. Is he with Hay I think he might be with Hayden, so maybe he's with Hayden. We have Nikita Gusev, Marquee Rookie Blue for the New Jersey Devils. We got a Gusev Rookie Blue for the Devils. What else are we going to see in this box here? We have a Jesper Boquist, Marquee Rookie for the New Jersey Devils. All right. So, so far, I think the edge of this box actually still goes to, uh, still goes to Series 1. See if Series 2 can ramp it up here. Uh, Aaron Ekblad, canvas for the Florida Panthers. See if Series 2 can ramp it up towards the end here, but, I mean, Series 1 brought it pretty good. So, next up, we have, uh, Nicholas Hag Young Gun for the Vegas Golden Knights. I like him as a player. Hopefully he gets more playing time in Vegas. I mean, they've got a good decor, but... He's a young player, and given that they're in win-now mode, you'll probably see him on that blue line for a long time to come here. So, uh, Taro Hyros, rookie portraits for the Detroit Red Wings. Hyros portraits for the Detroit Red Wings. 
next pack, we have a rookie shooting stars red. These are Easter egg content as well of Taro Hyros for the Detroit Red Wings. That's the red version there. Nice hit. A little bit of Easter egg content there. I like how they did them though. It's always cool to kind of see that like cool Easter egg content stuff that you don't expect. And then it's like just that nice little, nice little goodie that you find. So next up, Tobias Bjornfoot, uh, Marquee Rookie Retro for the LA Kings. We've got about five packs left here in the box. I mean, it's been a good box, but at Series 1, was just a little bit stronger here. Let's see. We have Sam Lafferty, Young Gun, for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Lafferty, Young Gun, for the Penguins. I'll have to check after about the base variation there, because that's kind of weird to have that base pack, but who knows? Sometimes you can get those base variations. Uh, Radulov canvas for the Dallas Stars. And like, they're they're cool because you can't really tell the difference. Um, I'd like if they put like more like legends in as like base variations. I think that'd be pretty cool as well. Uh, Subban update for the New Jersey Devils. You know, like if you just had like a plain base card with like Wayne Gretzky on it as like a super tough to hit card. I think that'd be pretty cool, so. Next up, we have, I mean, we hit a Barrett Hayden. It's the portraits, but let's see. We got one pack left here. I mean, it's got to be a heck of a pull to beat that Series 1 box. Series 1 might be going up to nothing here. Let's see what we're doing here. And we are finishing off with, yeah, that's actually a good young in there of Elvis Merzlikens for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Sheldon Lee, that is yours. Good Mercy Lickens right there. All right. I think Series 2 is up 2-0 now. It's hard. I mean, Series or series 2, Series 1 is up 2-0. That is quite the battle so far. I mean, I think it was a 4-2 decision for Series 2 last week, but so far 2-0 for Series 1. I mean, if they keep this up, they might be crowned champion. All right. Next up, let's see, we've hit, I mean, we hit the UD exclusives out of, uh, there we go, but yeah, that, that box of series one, that, I mean, all the boxes of series one have just been so solid, this is box number three, and let's see, hopefully we can continue the trend here, let's see, Erasmus Sandin Young Gun, haven't seen him yet. And starting things off with a Philip Myers young gun for the Philadelphia Flyers. Nice Philippe Myers for the Philadelphia Flyers. Next pack. Let's see what we got. We have Patrick Waugh UD30 for the Montreal Canadiens. Patrick Waugh UD30 for the Canadiens. Next up, we have uh, Daniel, you're tacking young guns for the San Jose Sharks. You're tacking young guns for the Sharks. I think he was in, he was in box one. Who else was in box one? That was, uh, the Caco canvas. That was a weird box. Uh, Evgeny Malkin canvas for the, uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. Malkin canvas for the Penguins. Next up. We have... Let's see here. Brad Marchand, Pure Energy for the Boston Bruins. Marchand, Pure Energy for the Bruins. Next pack. Let's see what we're gonna get here. I think we're gonna get, I think we'll get something spicy in this box though. So I still feel like we're gonna get something spicy. Something a little bit different here. Uh, Dylan Larkin, Portraits for the Detroit Red Wings. Something a little bit different. I mean, we've hit the clear cut in box one and then we hit the clear cutting exclusives in box two maybe we just hit the regular exclusives in box three maybe that's how it works uh ud30 of connor mcdavid for the edmonton oilers i think that's 2013-14 base design not quite sure but i think that's what it is unless my memory is wrong but uh sebastian aho canvas for the carolina hurricanes Aho canvas for the Carolina Hurricanes. Next up, we have a Gaten Haas, Young Gun for the Edmonton Oilers. 
Definitely saw him in box one. Next up. Let's see what we're gonna get here. We're gonna get an Alex Ovechkin portrait for the Washington Capitals. Again, good team spread so far. I mean, you see a lot of Rangers up front, but I mean, you've got the Jets and the Coyotes both hitting. Um, you've got the Leafs with the Mikheyev uh, clear cut, the Rangers with the Kakos, and then uh, Cam Atkinson, Pure Energy for the Columbus Blue Jackets. I mean, you've got a couple good young gun canvases. Uh, the Quinn Hughes young gun so far, it's been really strong, so. But this box of Series 2 has been so far so quiet. Something's hiding in the second half for sure. We'll see what it is though. Uh, TJ Oshie, Shooting Stars for the Washington Capitals. The right wings are the tough to hit ones, so good one there. Next up, we have Generation Next of Nolan Patrick for the Philadelphia Flyers. Nolan Patrick, Generation Next for the Flyers. All right. Let's see here. We have Anze Kopitar canvas for the LA Kings. Kopitar canvas for the Kings. Next up. Let's see. We have a Josh Brown young gun for the Florida Panthers. Josh Brown young gun for the Florida Panthers. Next up. We've got uh, Pekka Rene portraits for the Nashville Predators. Rene portrait for the Predators. I mean, hopefully something's hiding in these past few, last few packs here. Let's see. We have a pure energy of Nico Hichier for the New Jersey Devils. Nice pure energy there. I'd like if they did like color variations of it next year. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, what we got hiding in this pack? We have a clear cut of Dougie Hamilton for the Carolina Hurricanes. Nice Dougie Hamilton clear cut in that Hartford Whalers throwback jersey. Hamilton clear cut for the Carolina Hurricanes. Heard them a lot, this uh, this box between everything. And we have uh, Wayne Gretzky UD30 for the uh, LA Kings on that one. Nice Gretzky UD30 for the LA Kings there. And a few packs left. We have, there you go, Dante Fabro, Young Guns for the uh, Nashville Predators. Got his canvas, now you've got his base. Already off to a good little PC of them there. Who got the Predators? Uh, Mark with the Predators. All right. We have a Nino Niederreiter canvas for the Carolina Hurricanes. And heard them a lot in this box. <laughs> All right, three packs left in this box. Let's see, Let's see if we can see something good in the end here. Uh, Connor McDavid, pure energy for the Edmonton Oilers. McDavid, pure energy for the Edmonton Oilers. Next up, we have uh, Chris Letang, Portraits for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And final pack, I mean, we'll see what's in hiding in it. But so far, it looks like Series 2 has a chance to claw back here. Let's see. It is uh, Connor, and Bun Connor Bunneman, Young Guns for the Philadelphia Flyers. So Series 2 definitely has a chance here to get back in and, uh, you know, take, take one back from uh, Series 1 here. Make things a little bit more interesting. But here we go. Never know until you open up the box. And let's go. So did we hit a uh, did we hit a young gun canvas in that one? I don't think we did actually. That was the first box we haven't hit a young gun canvas in. So we haven't gotten an extra young gun. But considering the first two boxes, I mean that that's okay to have one like that. Uh, still got a couple good young guns out of it. I mean I like the way Fabro plays. Bunneman looks like he's going to be at least a decent player, so. And you still got a clear cut there of Dougie Hamilton in the Whalers jersey. Can't complain too much about that stuff, but definitely a little bit on the weaker side. So let's see if Series 2 can claw back and get their first box win on the board here. All right, first up, we have a Jonathan Davidson UD Rookie Portraits for the Ottawa Senators. 
Davidson rookie portraits for the Ottawa Senators. Next up, it is, oh, we have a buyback one of one here. Pretty good one, actually, for the Pittsburgh Penguins of Justin Schultz. Nice buyback one of one for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Who had the Penguins? We'll get that one in the sleeve. Uh, the Penguins were Ralph Stoll with the Penguins. Nice one of one there. I mean, yeah, when you get a good player, uh, always good to see. Uh, what one does this bump out here? Uh, I don't think it bumps really anything out right now. So it'll just, it'll just live in the top right or bottom left there. So, but good one of one right there. I mean, the buybacks are always cool. There's a cool little Easter egg. I like how they did it to kind of celebrate their 30th year. So same with like the diamond relics over the past little bit. Next up, Adam Boquist, uh, rookie blue for the Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, so there's our one of one buyback from this half. Next up, Jesper Boquist, marquee rookie for the Devils. But yeah, good one of one right there. Again, anytime you get a one of one, you're you're always happy. So next up, Nazem Kadri, canvas for the Colorado Avalanche. I love those Avalanche jerseys. Those are so nice. They're just like the nice, the nice like modern look to them. Oh, so good. Uh, David Gustafson, Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jets. Nice Gustafson, Young Gun for the Winnipeg Jets. He's also got his, uh, also pulled his canvas in this. So lots of, lots of the canvases we pulled the regular Young Gun so far. So Dominic Kubelik, a marquee rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Next pack. So far, I mean, so far, so good. I think uh, Series 2 might just have it with the one of one, to be honest. Uh, Hanola Rookie Portraits for the Winnipeg Jets. I mean, a one of one of a good player who's won Stanley Cup is always, uh, always a good thing, especially when he's still a relevant player. That's always, always very good. Uh, Dmitro Timoshov, Young Gun for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Timoshov, Young Gun for the Maple Leafs. Next up. We have uh -huh, Carter Toransky, OPG Marquee Rookie Retro for the Philadelphia Flyers. Next up, we have uh, German Rupsoff, Young Guns for the Philadelphia Flyers. And the Flyers have a ton of rookies. <laughs> They're just everywhere in every product this year. It's actually kind of crazy. Next up, Barzell Canvas for the New York Islanders. Matt Barzell Canvas for the New York Islanders. All right. I think we, we might see the OPG, the OPG gold in this, in this box, I think. Uh, Subban update for the New Jersey Devils. That'd be a nice one to see, so. And bro, just over halfway through this box, just over halfway, or just about halfway through the break here, so. Let's see what we can get. Nick Suzuki portraits for the Montreal Canadiens. Suzuki for the Habs there. Yeah, so far, I mean, pretty pretty tight boxes. I mean, I think the one of one is definitely what set this apart, but uh, Koivula Young Guns for the New York Islanders between series one and series two. So I think series two is gonna get it on the board here. Uh, they've hit, they hit the one of one, but overall, I mean, it's still fairly close. They still have a few packs left to really blow it wide open, but uh, Cody Glass, Marquee Rookie Retro for the Vegas Golden Knights. Still have a couple packs here to blow it open. Let's see if they can, let's see if they can kind of claw back and get a little bit more momentum on their side here. We have a Vil Philip Zadina Young Gun for the Detroit Red Wings. So it looks like we're getting more or less the same crop as last time, except the, uh, I think Gustafson was a Young Gun canvas, so. Who knows? We'll see. Next pack. Program of Excellence Canvas for the, I believe this is Boston Bruins. Jack Stanichka. I believe that is Boston Bruins on that one. Just double check here. Uh, 
I'm like 99% sure on this one. But yeah, Boston Bruins there. So nice hit. That's for uh, that's for Liam. Nice hit there with the program of excellence canvas. So I mean that's like a little bonus, a little bonus young gun kind of. Tough to hit. One in every three boxes. Good player too. All right, I'll get that one in a sleeve as well. Kind of running out of space here up front. Uh, we'll slide them where the uh, checklist is. We'll move the checklist up here. All right, there we go. So yeah, I think series two with that has kind of put the nail in the coffin and has taken their first box of the break. Their first round. Uh, Beck Mallinson, Young Gun for the Washington Capitals. He's a new one. Haven't seen him yet. Next up. We have a Sean Monahan clear cut uh, for the Calgary Flames. Nice Monahan clear cut for the Flames there. Who had the Flames? Do, 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 do. Fartan with the Flames there. Nice Monahan. Next up, we have. Uh, Adam Fox, marquee rookie for the New York Rangers. Nice Fox for the Rangers. And three packs left here. I mean, you got the one of one, the program of excellence. What more can you really ask for? Zadina's a good young gun. So, uh, Joel Farabee, marquee rookie for the Philadelphia Flyers. Two packs to go here. Yeah, no complaints out of this box. Definitely, definitely a solid box. Uh, Seth Jones, canvas for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Seth Jones, canvas for the Blue Jackets. And final pack here. Let's see what's hiding in the final pack of this box. We have a Marion Faye Harvey, uh, rookie portraits for the Washington Capitals. So I think the score is two to one here in terms of boxes. Uh, halfway through the break with series one in the lead. Definitely a bit of a bit of an underdog story right now, so. All right, so here we go. On to box number, this is box number four of series one. Let's see if they can bring it. They had a bit of a rough box last time, so let's see if we, they can bring it, bounce back here. You know, gotta have a good complete game. You know, good 60 minutes. Gotta have a good 24 packs, something like that. Using hockey cliches and hockey cards. Box is empty. And, I mean, we got off to a really, really hot start too with the Young Gun exclusives, the canvas of Kako, uh, the regular of Kako, the clear cut of Mikheyev. So, definitely a hot start. Gotta pick things up in the middle here though. Let's see what series one can do. And I mean, they still gotta hold on to their lead here. They're still fighting for the championship. Uh, UD30 of Patrick Waugh. I believe that's a 607 year for the Colorado Avalanche on that one. I think that's a 607. Not quite sure. Next up, Travis Zajac, UD Canvas for the New Jersey Devils. Next up, I want to see. And I want to see a Rasmus Sandin Young Gun. I we haven't seen one yet, so. Uh, Jesper Boquis, Young Gun for the New Jersey Devils. Haven't seen him yet either, so that's a good sign. Got a new crop rolling through here. Next up, we have uh, Sebastian Ajo Portraits for the Carolina Hurricanes. Ajo Portraits for the Hurricanes. Next up, we have uh, Taylor Hall, Pure Energy for the New Jersey Devils. Hall Pure Energy for the New Jersey Devils. Next up, we have a Wayne Gretzky UD30 for the Edmonton Oilers. Gretzky UD30 for the Oilers. All right, what do we got here? We have a Young Gun Canvas of Jack Eichel. Jack Eichel, Young Gun Canvas. All right. Let's see what else is hiding in this box. Maybe we'll get a good jersey card in this box as well. Who knows? We'll see. Brandon Gignac, Young Gun for the New Jersey Devils. Gignac for the New Jersey Devils. Devils starting to get a little bit more Young Guns here. They got two Jack Hughes in the first half. Now they're getting the rest of the squad. All right. Let's see what's hiding here. We have 
Ryan McDonough, Portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. McDonough, Portraits for the Lightning. And last pack of the first half of this box here. In the second half of the break, we have a Leon Dreisaitl, Pure Energy for the Edmonton Oilers. Dreisaitl, Pure Energy for the Edmonton Oilers. So I got both McDavid and Dreisaitl there. Nice ones. Uh, all right. We have a next generation or generation next of Alex Tuck for the Vegas Golden Knights. Love his mustache there. Nice little handlebar going on. Doesn't look like a prospect in the photo, but definitely is. Uh, Vitaly Abramov, young gun for the Ottawa Senators. Good one there. Good little player. I believe he was part of that Matt Duchesne trade two years ago at the deadline when Columbus went all in. Next up, Adam Henrique Canvas for the Anaheim Ducks. Henrique Canvas for the Anaheim Ducks. Next pack. Let's see what we got. We have a Gabriel Landeskog Pure Energy for the Colorado Avalanche. Landeskog Pure Energy for the Colorado Avalanche. So you could still see that Sandine Young Gun in this. We'll see. But uh, we got a rookie portraits of Philip Zadina for the Detroit Red Wings. Nice rookie portraits out of Series 1 there. So they're a little bit tougher to get in Series 1. Because they have all the vets mixed in as well. Uh, what we got hiding in this pack we have uh, Joaquin Nygaard. Young Guns for the Edmonton Oilers. So Oilers have hit both their main Young Guns. Next up, we've got uh, Shooting Stars of John Tavares for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Tavares Shooting Stars for the Maple Leafs. Let's see, let's see a good Young Gun parallel here, a good jersey card, one or the other. Just something something fancy in this box. Uh, generation next of Alex DeBrincat for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Next pack. We have maybe a day with the cup. Let's see a day with the cup. We've opened a lot of this. We could see a day with the cup. Oh, there we go. Rasmus Sandin for the Toronto Maple Leafs young gun. Uh, he's a good defenseman. I think he'll be a very important piece for that team for a long time, especially given that he'll be on a bit of a cheaper deal. Um, same with Lil Jagrin. So uh, Josh Bailey, Camus for the New York Islanders. But nice Sandine Young Gun there. So nice little bounce back box here from uh, for Series 1. like to see one really strong pull to end it, but we'll see. Uh, Stamco's Pure Energy for the Tampa Bay Lightning. like to see one more strong pull, but good overall Young Guns from this box. Um, yeah. It's been a pretty just solid box top to bottom. Clayton Keller Portraits for the Arizona Coyotes. Keller Portraits for the Coyotes. Two packs left here. Let's see what we got. We have a Max Jones Young Gun for the Anaheim Ducks. Max Jones Young Gun for the Anaheim Ducks. And final pack here of box number four of series one in the second half, first box of the second half of the break here. We have, uh, I think that's a clear cut. Yeah, it's a clear cut. It was kind of hard to see, but we have a clear cut of Tyler Bertuzzi. It's hard to see with the dark background there, but it is a clear cut. So Tyler Bertuzzi clear cut for the Detroit Red Wings. And that's how we finish that box of uh, series one. So not the, like just an average kind of box there. So definitely some room for series two to hop in and uh, secure, uh, secure another win here to tie things up. But we shall see, see how the cookie crumbles here. All right. Let's see, we've hit the exclusives out of this half of uh, of Series 2. So let's see, We still, I think we still have the clear cut coming. So let's see the clear cut in this box. Clear cut or like maybe a rookie materials patch. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that one was a pretty hard one to see. It, like you can tell by the shine on the card, but it's like, even the bottom is like not... Like it's not super clear compared to normal, so. All right. Ah, uh, there we go. Starting off with the Jack Hughes marquee rookie for the New Jersey Devils. Nice Jack Hughes marquee rookie for the Devils here. 
can tidy this pile up a little bit. There we go. Keep things organized. Next up, we have uh, the two Lusteranen Young Guns for the Carolina Hurricanes. Lusteranen for the Hurricanes Young Guns. Next pack. There's a decent amount of these Young Guns in Series 2 that actually managed to find new teams at the trade deadline. Uh, canvas of Taylor Hall for the New Jersey Devils there. Speaking of finding new teams. Next up, we have... Uh, Sergey Bobrovsky update for the Florida Panthers. Bobrovsky update for the Panthers. Next up, we've got uh, rookie portraits of Blake Lazotte for the LA Kings. Blake Lazotte portraits for the LA Kings. Still love the 90 design on that. I mean, maybe next year we'll see like the 2000s like space blue school photo background. I, I'd be down for that. I mean, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, Carl Grunstrom, Young Guns for the LA Kings. Grunstrom, Young Guns for the Kings here. All right, let's see something big here. We want to see something really nice out of uh, out of Series 2 here. I mean, we've hit a Merzlikens Young Guns too. He's kind of on that edge of being up front, but just a little bit short. Uh, Daniel Yurtakin, Marquee Rookie Retro for the San Jose Sharks. Next up, about a quarter, just over a quarter way through this box here, we have uh, Trevor Moore Young Gun for the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's another guy that found a new home around the trade deadline. Next up, let's see. Day with the Cup would be nice. I don't know what else. Uh, Devin Dubnik, canvas for the Minnesota Wild. Dubnik canvas for the wild. They have like the day with the cup flashbacks, which is much as like, it'd be a nice card to pull. I really don't want to see one because it's when the Boston Bruins beat the Canucks. So uh, as a Canucks fan, don't really want to see that. But Gaden Haas, uh, marquee rookie for the Edmonton Oilers. Be a nice, be a nice pull, but at the same time as well, it's just like, eh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Nikita Gusev, rookie portraits for the New Jersey Devils. And last pack of the first half here. I mean, so far it's pretty even between the two. Uh, Joel Farabee Young Guns for the Philadelphia Flyers. So yeah, nothing super fancy so far through the first half. Um, just some steady pulls, but we'll see. Still lots of packs to go here in the second half of this box. And we'll see if, uh, series, uh, if series two can tie things up. And we're starting off with a Wallstrom Marquee Rookie Blue for the New York Islanders. Wallstrom Marquee Rookie Blue for the Islanders. Next pack, we have uh, Mikheyev Marquee Rookie for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Got a soup for the Maple Leafs there. Next pack, we've got, uh, oh, we got two canvases. Here we go. Something a little bit different. We got a Tyler Sagan canvas for the uh, Dallas Stars and a Kyle Palmieri canvas for the New Jersey Devils. I mean, we've seen three, four portraits packs, but we haven't seen a two canvas pack in series two yet. So that's a first, something a little bit weird. Uh, Trent Frederick Youngins for the Boston Bruin. Bruins for Liam there. Nice hit there. Bruins have been doing pretty well. You got the Bergeron jersey, you got the Sadnichka, uh, Program of Excellence Canvas, the Young Gun there, uh, Libor Hajek, Rookie Portraits for the New York Rangers. All right, let's keep things rolling. We have uh, exclusives here for the Tampa Bay Lightning of Mikhail Sergachev. Sergachev exclusives, number two 100 for the Tampa Bay Lightning. We had the Lightning. Sylvain, Sylvain. Next up, we have uh, Kale Fleury, Marquee Rookie for the Montreal Canadiens. I think the Lightning hit, uh, I think they hit uh, exclusives in the first half actually too. I don't know if it was series one or series two, but I'm pretty sure they hit a McDonough exclusives. 
Uh, Galchenyuk canvas for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Galchenyuk canvas for the Penguins. And a few packs left here. I mean, it's been pretty, pretty even, actually. It's going to be a tough one to tell unless there's something really big that pops out at the end here. But Carter Rehege, rookie portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And three packs to go here. Oh, uh, let's see. David Gustafson, young gun for the Winnipeg Jets. Gustafson for the Jets. And two packs left here. I mean, it's pretty even between the two boxes. I don't know which one to call a winner here. We have Adam Boquist, rookie materials for the Chicago Blackhawks. I think that might push uh, Series 2 over top, but it's still pretty close. Uh, nice Boquist rookie materials, though, for the Blackhawks. Really good young defenseman. I don't know if he's on the short print side of things, but good young defenseman there. And final pack of the box. Uh, I mean, who do you think really won this? I think it's I think it's series two by just a hair, but we'll we'll leave it up to chat. So, uh, marquee rookie of Connor Clifton for the Boston Bruins to finish things up there. So, I mean, hit of the box is probably that Adam Boak was rookie materials, and I mean, the young guns in uh in the first half there for hang on one second, just get the base dealt with. There we go. The young guns in series one were really strong, so. It's a pretty, pretty even contest, I think, in that one. We might actually just straight up call it a tie. Pretty tough to, pretty tough one to, to judge. So, might call it a tie. Give everyone a point here. All right. Let's see what series one can do, though. Had a couple quiet boxes here. I mean, the last box we had some good young guns, but let's see what they can do. All right, here we go. Starting things off, let's start off with something cool. And, I mean, a Shooting Stars Red of Sidney Crosby is a pretty good start right there for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice Crosby Shooting Stars Red. Those ones are the tougher ones to get. I, I definitely do like the red better than the blue too, so. They just look a little bit more like, a little bit more high end. Just that color of like the red burgundy is super nice, so. Love the design on that. Next up, a UD30 of Connor McDavid for the Edmonton Oilers. That's from his rookie year, the base, at least the design of it. Next up, we have a UD canvas of Morgan Riley for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Morgan Riley canvas for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But so far, good start. Got the Crosby red there. See what else is coming in. We have a Matt Roy, Young Guns for the LA Kings. Lots of snow spray in that photo. Next up, let's see what we got in this pack. We have a Connor McDavid portraits for the Edmonton Oilers. Hitting some good names here. Just wanna see a fancy parallel with them. Let's see, let's see like a Young Guns exclusive. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Pure Energy of Zach Parisi for the Minnesota Wild. An, an exclusive would be pretty nice to see. I don't think we hit one so far in the... We didn't hit a Young Gun exclusive, that's for sure. So maybe we'll have one coming. Maybe we'll have one coming. We'll see though. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, UD30 for the LA Kings. Gretzky, UD30 for the LA Kings. Next up... Let's see what we're gonna get. We have uh, Mackenzie McKecker and Young Gun for the St. Louis Blues. Fun fact, that's actually Andreas Borgman on the card. But it's McKecker and Young Gun, so nice hit for the St. Louis Blues there. Cool little fun fact about that Young Gun. Next up, Nick Foligno, canvas for the Columbus Blue Jackets. It's, it's funny like seeing just little things like that because it just makes the card like a little bit more collectible to people sometimes. So uh, Jack Eichel, pure energy for the Buffalo Sabres. Next up, we have uh, Max Domi portraits for the Montreal Canadiens. And final pack of the first half of this box. Let's see what's hiding in here. 
we have uh, Zach McEwen, Young Gun for the Vancouver Canucks. Definitely a new crop in here. Good to see. Good to see the new crop. All right. Let's see what the second half of this box is going to bring. It is bringing a Zach Parisi UD game jersey for the Minnesota Wild. Nice Parisi game jersey for the Minnesota Wild. Who had the Wild? Kevin Dorish with the Wild there. Next up, we have Patrick Waugh, UD30. Colorado Avalanche on that one. Next up, we've got... A Michael Matheson canvas for the Florida Panthers. We haven't seen a young gun canvas in a few boxes either. Got a lot at the start and then kind of cooled off a little bit. And you start off with the Capo Caco canvas. So that's always a good start. Uh, Kale Fleury young guns for the Montreal Canadiens. Nice one there for the Habs. Kevin, that's yours as well. Habs have three really strong young guns with Primo, Fleury, and uh, Suzuki this year. So... And just three strong rookies in general. Never mind just young guns. But uh, Matthews portraits for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Matthews portrait for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Next up, we have uh, Johnny Gaudreau, Pure Energy for the Calgary Flames. It'd be cool if they almost like match the team background too to the color of the card. Like you make the flames red, the bolts with the blue. I think that would be really cool to see. There's definitely potential with that set. Uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Generation X for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Definitely lots of potential with that set for a little bit more like cool design stuff. Um, I mean, even if it's like some foiling going on in the background or something, I don't know. They're definitely, like it's definitely a cool insert like concept, so. Uh, nice young gun here, Victor Olsen for the Buffalo Sabres. Nice hit for Francis there. Olsen, I think he was leading in goals for rookies, so definitely really, really good shot. So, uh, canvas of Vander Kane for the San Jose Sharks. Former Vancouver Giant right there. Three packs left here. I mean, good young gun so far. Decent on the jersey card. You want to see something special to finish off the box, but Ovechkin Pure Energy for the Washington Capitals. Two packs left here. Let's see what's hiding in them. We have, uh, hey, that's a good rookie portrait there of Kale McCarr for the Colorado Avalanche. McCarr portraits for the Colorado Avalanche. And final pack of the box. I mean, definitely some room for Series 2 to come in again, but still a strong box. Couple good young guns, so can't really complain. Uh, Lean Bergman for the San Jose Sharks. Again, can't really complain about the overall quality of the young guns in that box. Uh, you know, wasn't was it the strongest? No, but was it the weakest? No. So it's just you know, average run of the mill box here. As the base towers fall over a little bit here, all right. Now one second, just gotta reorganize the base quickly. There we go. Ugh. All right. Let's see if series two can answer the door here. Series one left it open a little bit. Is a solid box, but there's definitely room for Series 2 to come in here with a big hit. And Series 2 definitely has the potential. Lots of good young guns. Lots of cool Easter egg content for the rookies. I mean, we'll see. We shall see. All right. I think we still we still should probably have a clear cut young gun unless the uh, exclusives counted as a clear cut, but. Still probably have a clear-cut Young Gun in Series 2 in one of these final two boxes. I don't think we got one in the first half. Uh, Gustafson, Marquee Rookie Retro for the Winnipeg Jets. Next pack. We have... Uh, there we go. Barrett Hayden Young Gun for the Arizona Coyotes. That's a guy to hold on to for right now. Barrett Hayden Young Gun for the Coyotes. Nice hit there, Alex V. All right, next pack we have a Jonathan Quick canvas for the LA Kings. Quick for the Kings on the canvas. So definitely different young gun crop here. We haven't seen Hayden yet, which is good. And we have a Joe Pavelski update for the Dallas Stars. 
Lots of, again, Dallas just is a team that gets a lot of little updates with Pavelski and Perry in here. Uh, they have Les Perrance as a young gun, so. Uh, Connor Clifton, rookie portraits for the Boston Bruins. Clifton for the Bruins there. Next pack we have, if I can get it open, there we go. We have... Oh, uh, nice one there. Adam Boquist, young gun for the Chicago Blackhawks. Good one there for Chicago. Who had the Blackhawks? Alex Song with the Blackhawks there. Nice one. Again, he's a guy whose value is probably going to go up over time once Chicago kind of regains their form. Um, but very, very good defenseman. Uh, Jakob Lilia, marquee rookie blue for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Next up. We have David Gustafson, marquee rookie for the Winnipeg Jets. Lots of Gustafson in this uh, this half of series too. I mean, he's a good player. Definitely a player to keep your eye on. So, uh, Sean Monahan, canvas for the Calgary Flames. Monahan, canvas for the Calgary Flames. But let's see, let's see a fancy insert. Let's see like a Fanimation, a day with the cup, maybe a rookie breakouts. Uh, Andrew Peak, Young Guns for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Andrew Peak for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Next up, we have Alexander Volkov, Rookie Portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Volkov Portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And what we got hiding in this one? We have, oh, here's our marquee rookie red of Joel Farabee for the Philadelphia Flyers. Nice one there, nice marquee rookie red. Those are definitely, uh, I believe those are the case hits. Uh, yeah, they're uh, yeah they're just about a case, hit, or a little bit over a case. So one in about 307 packs on that one. So good hit there for the Flyers. Uh, Adam Fox portraits for the New York Rangers. Who hit the Flyers again? Kevin Doris with the Flyers. I don't know, we've hit one caco though. Maybe we can maybe we can find a second. Uh, Noah Gregor, young gun for the San Jose Sharks. Sharks hitting some more young guns here. Next up. I mean it's still fairly even between the two. Nothing really major has jumped out yet. Pavelski OPG retro update for the Dallas Stars. Nothing's really jumped out yet, so. And so uh, it's going to be a close one here again. All right. The young guns in this one has been solid, but I mean, they're solid in the other one. Pure Angle for the Toronto Maple Leafs young guns. And got about six, seven packs left here. Let's see what's hiding in this one. Uh, William, ooh, I like that photo. That's kind of like movie action star photo shoot, James Bond style of William Carlson for the Vegas Golden Knights. I like, I just like the different photography that sometimes gets used. It's just always cool to see, so. Next up, we have a Barrett Hayden, marquee rookie for the Arizona Coyotes. There's some more Haydens. We got I think six packs left here on the home stretch of this box and uh, there we go there's a good rookie materials for the Montreal Canadiens of Nick Suzuki nice Nick Suzuki rookie materials you can kind of go on top of Boquist there nice one there for the Habs Kevin that's yours next up we have a Carter Toransky for the Philadelphia Flyers, uh, marquee rookie. I think that's probably gonna push it over the top, but it's still fairly close between uh, series one and series two. Uh, Cody Glass, marquee rookie for the Vegas Golden Knights. Three packs to go here. Let's see what's tied in the final three. We have uh, Jordan Bennington, canvas for the St. Louis Blues. I like it. I would like if they did like day with the cut canvases as well. So uh, those would be pretty cool to see. All right, two packs left in this box. Let's see what's hiding in the final two packs here. Lean Brightly 
Lean Bergman, uh, rookie portraits for the San Jose Sharks. It's very easy to say Bregman instead of Bergman. And final pack here. I think we're just going to call it tied up here regardless, but uh, Jonathan Davidson, young gun for the Ottawa Senators. So Davidson, young gun for the Senators. Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're tied up between the two boxes heading into the final box. So, um, again, fairly even. We'll see what's in the final boxes here, but let's hope for a young gun exclusives out of Series 1 and an acetate, a clear cut out of Series 2. Let's end off with a big bang here. Let's go. I mean, we got a Quinn Hughes. We got a couple of Cacos. Got a good um, program of excellence. Got a good one of one buyback. Got some good jersey cards. The UD exclusives clear cut. So lots of cool stuff. But let's see. Let's finish off strong. Let's get a couple cards for the uh, for the display area here. Here we'll we'll even make a spot for the next card. We'll, uh, we'll slide the Bergeron. Sorry, Bergeron, you're moving over to Parisi here. And then we'll, uh, we'll slide you over. And then we'll slide this Caco down here. All right. So we got the spot open here for the next big hit. Let's hope that works. Change the lock up a little bit here. I'm just going to slide these two jersey cards over as well. There we go. Maybe it just was a little bit full, that's all. Uh, Patrick Waugh. Uh, UD30 for the Montreal Canadiens. Why UD30 for the Canadiens? Next up, we have uh, Tyler Bertuzzi, canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. Bertuzzi, canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. So you got his uh, clear cut and his canvas. Got the parallels going on there. Next, we have Anelia Mikheyev Young Guns for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Nice Mikheyev to go with the clear cut. So, uh, I forget what kind of Young Guns he was with, but uh, Nikita Kucherov Rookie Portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. But yeah, I, I think if we can get like a Young Guns exclusives here, it'd be really cool to see from Series 1. Definitely puts the pressure on Series 2. Uh, line A. Oh, we have a high gloss actually hide in here. Uh, line A, pure energy for the uh, Winnipeg Jets. And then a high gloss numbered one of only 10. Uh, Jesper Bratt for the New Jersey Devils. Nice little high gloss there for the New Jersey Devils. Definitely a tougher card to hit. So cool to see. Uh, probably bumps a chicken. Uh, yeah, probably bumps a chicken exclusives out. Oh, we'll just put it up top. We'll still leave the empty. We'll still leave the middle spot there. But cool to see a high gloss. Those are always super, super tough to get. And he's a good player. Good young player there. Um, let's put you over here. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll we'll put you right here. There you go. There you go, brat. But yeah, high glosses, super tough to hit. Nice card there, one of only 10. Who had the Devils again? That was Sylvain with the Devils. Uh, and a Clayton Keller jersey for the Arizona Coyotes. Nice jersey there for the Yotes. Alex V with that one. Nice Keller jersey there. So again, good names on the jersey cards for the Vets. You got Bergeron, Parisi, Keller, and zero complaints here. Generation next of Colin White for the Ottawa Senators. But yeah, I mean, overall, still like to see like one more cool little Easter egg card out of series one to finish off their, uh, their case was still Carson Coleman, young gun for the Boston Bruins, Coleman for the Bruins. Uh, it would be nice to see finish off with like one more cool little Easter egg card here. It seems like the boxes run a little bit hot in series one. So who knows? We shall see, uh, get slab canvas for the Anaheim ducks. Next up. We have uh, David Pasternak, Pure Energy for the Boston Bruins. Pasternak, Pure Energy for the Boston Bruins. Ah. All right, let's see, let's see a good young gun though too. We wanna see a good young gun here. Uh, Paling, Rookie Portraits for the Montreal Canadiens. 
Paleo and looking por rookie portraits for the Canadians. I'm just going to shrink the stack down here. There we go. It's a little bit better. Maybe a young gun canvas even would be nice. We kind of haven't hit one for a little bit. So uh, Nico Sturm for the Minnesota Wild young guns. Nico Sturm for the Wild. And probably about halfway through this box here. So got the high gloss, which is a pretty rare card to hit. I want to see one other kind of special card come out of this. Uh, Eichel shooting stars for the Buffalo Sabres. But it'll, it'll give Series 2 a run for its money. Uh, high glosses, again, are pretty tough to beat. Uh, super low numbered base set parallel, so always good. Uh, UD30 of Wayne Gretzky for the LA Kings on that one. Gretzky for the Kings. And... Next up, and speaking of a young gun canvas, Joey Decord for the Ottawa Senators. Joey Decord, young gun canvas for the Ottawa Senators. Now our first box, we hit the young gun canvas and the clear cut. So not all the question to hit some sort of fancy parallel there too, but we did get the high gloss already. So uh, Nathan Bastion, young gun for the New Jersey Devils. Bastion for the Devils. All right, let's see what else is hiding in this box. There we go. And again, Keller jersey, really solid there. This pack doesn't want to open, so maybe something's hiding in it. There we go. Got to go from the bottom sometimes. Uh, Pierre Luc Dubois portraits for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Dubois portraits for the Blue Jackets. And... Uh, Pure Energy of Barkov for the Florida Panthers. Maybe like a day with the cup, Fanimation. Is that asking too much? Maybe a little bit, but I mean, the high gloss is super nice still. Don't get me wrong. The high gloss is still nice still. Timo Meyer Generation X for the San Jose Sharks. But it'd be cool to end with one really cool hit out of Series 1. I mean, the, again, the high gloss is super cool, but something just a little bit more Easter eggy. Uh, Cody Glass, Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights, Young Gun. And next up, Mikel Granlin, UD Canvas for the Nashville Predators. Mikel Granlin for the Predators. Three packs to go here. Looks like the high gloss is going to be the highlight of the final box here. Unless we get a big Young Gun in the close. Uh, Matt Barzell. Pure Energy for the New York Islanders. Or maybe, you know, again, still potential for a little Easter egg content here. We'll see. The first box started off really, really strong. So, uh, Sveshnikov Portraits for the Carolina Hurricanes. And final pack here. And you can never complain with the high gloss. But let's see something cool. Let's finish off on a bang here, Series 1. Overall, really strong case of Series 1. And a Texier Young Gun, I mean... Hey, if you're going to end, you want, might as well end on a pretty solid young gun there. So overall, I mean, that Series 1 entire case is pretty good. You got the high gloss, got lots of good young guns, um, got the canvas of Kako. I mean, the one of one was of Recky in the buyback, which is cool. So lots of cool stuff. But let's see what really matters. And that's if Series, uh, if series 2 can come back and win here. I didn't say, my phone thought I said a different, thought I said Siri, but nope. <laughs> it's not Siri 2, it's Series 2. All right, let's finish off strong here. Let's get something nasty out of this, out of this box here. Let's see a good clear cut young gun. That's what I want to see. Nice and simple, clear cut young gun. <laughs> Mark, man, that would be that'd be pretty cool. All right, here we go. Starting things off with a Rem Pitlick Young Gun for the Nashville Predators. Pitlick for the Predators. So Cody Glass Young Gun. I mean, you want the canvas Cody Glass? I think he's is he Series Two. He might be Series Two. I completely forget what series he's actually is. Uh, Jack Hughes rookie portraits for the New Jersey Devils. 
Hughes rookie portraits for the Devils. Next up, we have our OPG Gold of Joaquin Nygaard for the Edmonton Oilers. That's also a case hit there on the gold for Nygaard. Nice little hit there. Let's see what else is hiding. Uh, Varlamov Blue for the New York Islanders. The blue of the Vets are a little bit tougher to hit as well. So, All right. And next we have a Mario Ferraro, uh, marquee rookie for the San Jose Sharks. Ferraro for the Sharks. Next up we have uh, Petrangelo, uh, just a regular canvas for the St. Louis Blues. And it'd be really cool if they did day with the cup canvases. I feel like that just is a card that like best designed for it. Bergeron exclusives would be pretty cool as well. Uh, Zuccarello for the Wild. Next up, we have uh, John Marino, Rookie Portraits for the Penguins. And some kind of special young gun though to kick it to end it would be really nice as well. Let's see what's hiding in this one. Uh, German Rubsoff for the Philadelphia Flyers young gun. Got a couple of him this break. I mean, we've hit two Kakos, one being the canvas. So no complaints there again. Uh, Gusev Retro rookie for the uh, New Jersey Devils. Next up, we have uh, Beck Malenstein for the Washington Capitals Young Guns. Second one of him. Next up, we've got a Jakob Voracek canvas for the Philadelphia Flyers. Nice little upper deck logos in the background. All right, final half of the break of the box here. Let's see if we can get something really cool out of this box. Uh, Wallstrom retro rookie for the Islanders. Again, let's see, let's see a cool like young gun clear cut or something. If I see a clear cut, I might save it to the end just in case, but we'll see. Gusev Young Gun for the New Jersey Devils. Got his uh, got his canvas as well. All right. Uh, Max Domi Canvas for the Montreal Canadiens. Domi Canvas for the Habs. And... Let's see what's here. We have a Hag Marquee Rookie for the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, so seven, eight packs left. So let's see. Rasmus Sandin Portraits for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sandin Portraits for the Maple Leafs. And we've got Noah Gregor, Young Guns for the San Jose Sharks. Gregor Young Gun for the San Jose Sharks. About six packs left here, so closing in towards the end of the break. We have a Vili Hainola, uh, marquee rookie for the Winnipeg Jets. Got five packs left here. Let's see something cool. Come on, UD Series 2. Let's end it off on a high note here. We have a Young Guns canvas. That's a good one of Kirby Doc. What's up, Doc? That's a good one to get. So we got a Kako and a Doc canvas. Really strong Young Gun canvases overall. Um, I mean, I still want to keep the middle spot open here. But overall, cool little guy there. Nice Kirby Doc for the Blackhawks. We have the Blackhawks. Alex S with the Blackhawks there. Few packs left here. We've got a Cody Glass. Rookie portraits for the Vegas Golden Knights. Three packs left. Let's see what's here. We have a Boquist Young Gun for the Chicago Blackhawks. And two packs left. Oh, we got. Oh, that's a good one. In the close, a rookie materials of Kale McCarr. That's a short print one for the Colorado Avalanche, Ron. 
I mean, it took to the very end to get you a big Makar, but hey, dude, there's your Makar. Finishing off super strong here. Nice final hit there. And a lean Bergman marquee rookie retro for the San Jose Sharks to finish things off. Beautiful Makar uh, rookie materials. The rookie materials in this case of Series 2 were like Quinn Hughes, you got the duels. You got the Suzuki regular one. I mean, really strong rookie materials too. So overall, I mean, both cases kind of brought it. I think Series 2 kind of brought things up, which means they win the overall battle here. Uh, let me just switch over to the uh, to the randoms here. We just got to do the one random for the Doc and Kako. But again, thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, reminder, we'll be live Saturday for the mixer break here. Uh, looking forward to running that one as well. So, but overall, some really strong hits, and we just got the one final random to do for the uh, for the uh, the Kako and Hughes. So, or Kako and Dak. So Rangers and Blackhawks, three times on the random. Top one gets the checklist, the Young Guns checklist here. So once, twice, and three times, and Chicago with the DAC Young Gun Canvas in the close and getting the DAC checklist to finish things off. All right, thank you everyone again. We'll get through and sort this all and get it all packed up for you. Um, again, lots of really nice stuff. Got the high gloss, good one of them buyback. Uh, the Makar Rookie Materials jersey. Uh, another Quinn Hughes, got a Young Guns exclusives, got a good clear cut. I mean, Young Gun Canvases, overall just really solid. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you on Saturday. Take care. Oh, and a couple final things just before I forget. Uh, we uh, There's a store-wide sale going on for the month of April, too, so you can save 20% off a huge selection of items online. And again, don't forget about the two breaks. I'll just link them quickly here. Um, there is a Series 1 mixer, which will happen on two, or Series 1 and Series 2 mixer. Uh which will happen on Tuesday. Uh, it's got Alert and Trilogy. That's one of the cheaper breaks to get into there. Um, so that one will happen on Thursday. And then we have the OPG Platinum Full Case Team Random on the 18th as well. So um, be sure to check those out. And again, everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, those links will be in the description below and again, take care. See ya.